This is a fitted bed sheet. You want three pieces for this. Add your three sheets to a bucket in no particular order. And now I've got a big old tub of glue. We're gonna pour some in, do a nice drizzle over top your sheets, then add some metallic gold paint. Look how cool this looks. I have some turquoise paint next. It's a nice muted turquoise. Add a little bit of water. This will make it just a little bit more runny, which is what you want. This consistency is great. Add some little splotches of your turquoise. Using your gloves, mix this all together now. These two colors, I think, just look so nice together. I'm so excited to show everyone how this turns out. Next, slide a large canvas down. Grab your big boy glue and get a nice pour going down the center of the canvas. Oh yeah, really adding a lot of glue here. Using a paintbrush, spread that glue across the whole canvas. Next, grab your bed sheet. We'll lay this down across our canvas. All right. Start to create some interesting folds, bunching and scrunching this all together. So you'll see here, I'm gonna pull some of that fabric to create texture. You can even add some glue directly on after placing the sheet. And if it's a lot of extra hanging off the edge, you can go ahead and just trim this excess off. We're gonna take some of our gold paint now, add a little bit to our glove, smear it first. That way it's more controlled. And just do a flick. All right, so I made three panels here. You wanna let these dry. So all of these ridges that you're seeing here are all firm to the touch. That's how you know it's done. Look how awesome this came out. Look at that. It's so modern, so cute. And each one comes out truly unique because of the nature of this. I like to do the same colors for all of them because I think it makes it look nice as a set. But if you wanna switch it up, you are more than welcome. It's your wall. Do as you please. So now we're gonna finish these up and get these hung. All right, so this is how you finish up your gorgeous modern art. Flip these around. Okay, now you just need to finish the back here. So what I like about this is that the extra fabric here, you can just tuck right underneath this wood frame. Option as well to use a staple gun and staple right in. But to be honest, it really isn't necessary. So if you don't have it, no need to spend money on an extra tool. Now for the areas where the fabric doesn't quite fit underneath, pull it tight and just duct tape it. This holds everything perfectly, all right? Just wanted to show everybody more than one option to finish this off that doesn't include a staple gun. I know not everyone has one. Next, grab some Velcro strips. You can also hang these on a nail, but honestly, these are so lightweight that I like to use these because these are damage free. So how this works is just stick these together. Oh, I think it's helpful to do this ahead of time. Peel away one side. Now look how great this looks, all finished off. The sides look so perfect and nice. So grab your canvas and stick this on like this and do this to all three. All right, this is the first one. Oh, give it a push into that Velcro. You wanna line this up. Ah, work those muscles. Give it a good push, push. And look how awesome these look as a set. I feel like this is something you would see in Pier One or TJ Maxx. I had so many extra bed sheets from over the years that I had collected. This whole thing cost me about 
$35 between the paint, the glue, and the canvases. Michaels has a great deal right now on canvases. Hope everybody loves this craft. It just looks so amazing. And expensive. That might be my favorite part of this. 